same white supremacist group that flew Nazi flags above Highway 40, sparking outrage across our area in October, is now taking credit for an equally disturbing march in Ohio over the weekend. Fox 2's Max Deaknight joins us live downtown tonight. Max, higher profile organizations both near and far are condemning their actions tonight. Yeah, Manny, the local chapters of the ADL, NAACP, all the way up to the White House are condemning this group's demonstration in Columbus, Ohio over the weekend, a group whose founder is being traced all the way back here to St. Louis. Take a look at this video. It shows a St. Louis based group that calls themselves the Hate Club marching through the streets of Columbus, Ohio, Saturday, waving Nazi flags and even pepper spraying someone who confronted them. The Anti-Defamation League says the group formed the day after a similar demonstration in October at the Mason Road overpass above Highway 40, which sparked outrage across our area. If their intent is to intimidate, that's different. St. Louis City NAACP President Adolphus Pruitt says they've heard more complaints about hateful speech and discrimination since the election. He thinks this group may be pushing the envelope on purpose. We get close to the line of whether it's freedom of speech or the attempt to intimidate. And if it's an attempt to intimidate and it has these racial connotations to it, we have federal laws for that. This is a naked display of hate and anti-Semitism and racism. The local chapter of the ADL says their investigation found the group's founder lives in St. Louis and was at both demonstrations. And while they say they've seen hundreds of displays like these across the country, they say it's important people condemn each one vigorously. When hate groups go on the road, it's the communities that suffer. The White House and the governor of Ohio each put out statements condemning Saturday's demonstrations in Columbus. The Jewish Federation of St. Louis added, quote, the connection of this hate group to our community is disturbing. We appreciate that the White House and others stand by our side in condemning Jewish hate and racism in all of its forms. Columbus police detained but did not arrest any of the demonstrators over the weekend, saying while there were multiple altercations, None of them rose to the level of assault charges. We'll continue to follow this group and the events that happened over the weekend in Columbus. For now, reporting live in St. Louis tonight, Max Deaknight, Fox 2 News.